So we're going to talk about safeguarding your business while keeping your employees productive, risk adaptive data protection. Now your traditional data protection tends to be very focused on a policy, on an individual file. What if we can be dynamically adjust the risk posture based on what the user is doing, based on the identity, based on what we're seeing, how they're acting, and maybe we have some policy decisions where they're very simple. We might just have a simple block. Just block everything. I don't trust this user. Not only do I trust the user, I don't trust the device, I don't trust the data. Just block them. And maybe another option might be, I need to audit because honestly I need a forensics tail. That's beyond a traditional one. So I want to audit and collect everything. And what I mean by audit is not just collect what's happening on the user, but any file he touches, get a copy of that. And actually, you know, associate things. So if they send an email to an individual, get a copy of that email as well, not just the fact that that email happened. And then the third option might be allow everything. I trust the user, I trust the device, I trust everything. So imagine John, he just joined the organization. John's a new little individual, he's a little stick figure here. And he's, we're not sure what organization to put him in, but he decided to download a file. Very common to download a file, but the amount he downloaded was just a little too much. We, and we might score him as a 64. And now this is a score from zero to 100 based on the risk posture, based on indicators of behavior. We've got over 100 different things we look at around the user. And that user might be scored, let's say, a 64. Now why does 64 matter? Well, maybe your policy is anything that's between 40 and 70 is an audit, a forensics copy. And everything else is allowed. So based on where they are in that user scoring, we adjust. We adjust to the user's policy. We adjust to the actual how he compares, or she, or they, to the actual uh, of how they do business. So maybe over time, we notice that they also copied a file, let's say, to a thumb drive. And that thumb drive ranks the score from a 64 to 9. So all of a sudden, I'm going to block them to put data on the thumb drive. I'll let them download something, but I'm not going to let them down, put on a thumb drive. But what I will let them do, because they did this, is they can actually copy that into a Word document. Because that's a normal use case on them being productive to do bi to business. They copy things from one document, put it in another, and then email that to someone else. Now, what happens if John, hypothetically, then does a screen capture of a document he downloaded? All of a sudden, that score goes to 70. It's not normal to do screen captures of a file that you've just downloaded. Or what if they take that same file and they compress it? So instead of 70, now we're at 78. So all of a sudden, the risk score is going up. And we're getting to a point where do we want to audit them? Do we want to block them? You can adjust that policy completely. And now if they take that individual file they, that they zipped, they copied, and now they're copying to their personal cloud, now we're at 99. Because it's not normal to do a screen capture Put, put it in a Word document, copy and paste it, and then zip it up and try to put it to a personal document, personal OneDrive or 365. It's just not normal for a, an employee to be doing that and putting it on their own personal user device. So this allows us for the employee to be productive while preventing them from exfilling data and actually putting on their personal Office 365, OneDrive, or their personal resources.